Hello, my name is Christine Tavares. I'm with the St. Charles City County Library District and welcome to Let's Create. For today's Let's Create, I thought it would be interesting to bring back relief sculpture as a project for you guys. Relief sculpture is artwork that is sculpture, but it usually hangs on the wall or it's propped up by something. Um, and it has a little bit of texture that kind of sticks out into space. So that's what we call the relief part. Uh, so today we're doing um, cardboard bugs. So we're gonna make some kind of insect and a butterfly. And in just a second, I'll show you what you need for cardboard bugs. All right, you guys, so for today's cardboard bugs, uh, supply list is very simple. You need some scissors. Um, I would pick some good sturdy scissors uh, because we're gonna be cutting cardboard. Pencil, some Elmer's, well, it doesn't have to be Elmer's glue, but some bottle glue is gonna work best. Um, tacky glue would be great if you have it. And then some cardboard. Um, I just took a box and uh, kind of cut it apart. And I went ahead and cut my shapes out first, just so you guys didn't have to see me cutting things out on the camera. I also have to stress, you need to be very careful when you're cutting cardboard because um, it's tough. And um, I did cut myself. <laughs> when I was getting ready for this class. So just be careful. Um, if you can't get it, I would definitely ask um, someone older to help you, like a grown up or an older sibling to help you cut things out. So um, for my bug, I went ahead and drew um, some parts and cut them out. This is my bug body. Um, I went ahead and drew a circle for the head and just kind of a, um, just like a stretched out oval shape for the body. Um, I don't know what kind of bug this is, um, but it's just a, we're just going to call it a bug. So we're going to just see how it goes. I did go ahead and give him two wings. Um, so I've got these pieces all together. Um, I've got lots and lots of details, um, like stripes for his body, um, some different shapes. And I'll tell you, I like texture and interest in my artwork. And so for these pieces, what I did was I just pulled off that top layer of cardboard. Do you guys see that? You see the lines? Um, so that's gonna make our bug a little more exciting. So we're gonna start gluing him together. Um, I would say the legs, actually let's do the wings first. I just have to remember how I, how I had my wings. I think I had the flat parts pointed up. Yes, that's what I had. So like I said, bottle glue is gonna be best for you guys. Um, you can try a glue stick, but, and it probably will work. It's just gonna take some time. And you need a good amount of glue. And did you guys know that if you have glue that's kind of slow to come out, if you just lay it on its side, it should be okay. It's not gonna leak out. And it just means that the glue is gonna get to you faster. So I always tell my students, just lay it on its side. It's gonna be fine. Okay, so there are my wings for my bug. Um, I also have legs. And I don't have six legs. Did you guys know that insects have six legs? I have four, but we're gonna pretend that two of them are hiding underneath the wings so that we don't have to have six. <laughs> so <laughs> we're just gonna make that easier on ourselves. So I'm gonna stick my legs under here. Here's the two bigger ones. And you can cut your legs however you want. Um, I went ahead and gave him kind of knees. I don't know if bugs have knees, but I just thought that that would be an interesting kind of shape. We've got these two smaller legs that are going to go right under. And did you see how I'm gluing it under instead of right against? If you try to glue it like this, it's really not going to work. Maybe if you use hot glue, but uh, it's much better if you just kind of stack things on top. Okay, and we're gonna pretend the other legs are under the wings somewhere. I'll scoot these down a little bit. Okay, um, I cut out this cool shape uh, to kind of just go right in between the wings. Maybe that's gonna be like a, you know, a special dot that the bug has on its body or something like that. But at this point, I'm not really going super realistic. I'm just going more interesting. And then I went ahead and cut out some stripes. Now these are gonna be a little too long I think this was at the part that I cut myself, so <laughs> it just did it really fast. Um, so I'm gonna have to make some cuts here. So I'm just laying it on the bug's body and then I'm just gonna draw a line where it meets the bug's body. You can also um, glue the stripes on first before the legs and then chop them off. But I think I'm just gonna be safe 
and do this. I will have to cut a little bit on camera, but I promise to be careful. And this project, unless you decide to paint it, is not super messy. So, hey, I can do projects that aren't messy. Right, this stripe. This guy needs a trim. I think I have one more. Yep, one more little tiny. Um, I don't really need to cut that one. I guess I was correct in my measurements. And I know you guys see the glue kind of seeping out over the sides. I'm going to wipe that off, um, but it will dry clear. And if you decide to paint your bug, you can also just paint right over it. I would suggest um, if you have acrylic paint, like craft paint, that's going to cover the cardboard the best. Um, if you have tempera paint, that's going to work well too. Watercolor will work okay, but um, the brown is going to show through. But that actually could be a cool um, element for you. All right, so I made some circles and patterns for the wings just to, I don't know, just to make it a little more textural and a little more interesting. So we've got those. What did I do? Oh yeah, I forgot I made these, I stacked them. I thought I had another one, here it is. Stack this one. I am gonna pay attention to the lines here and I'm gonna make them kind of go in a diagonal angle. Um, I think I made these guys, yep, to sit right on the wing like that. This one must have been scooted. This is a little small. It doesn't have to be perfect. It is fine. And again, you guys can make as much or as little detail as you want for your bug. I think the, the most important part is going to be the body for sure. Oh, here's this one. I must have made just a random little one. I did. That's what I did. That's what I did. All right, I've got some crescent shapes, I've got some circles, I've got some ovals. I gave him two eyes. Some insects, like spiders especially, have more than two eyes. I didn't want to go that creepy. So we just have two regular eyes. And then I have two little antenna. This is where I cut myself. <laughs> so please, if you are cutting small pieces, please, please, please ask somebody for help. Um, and I am a professional, but professionals sometimes make mistakes. And my mistake was cutting something really tiny with big, strong scissors. Okay, all right, I think he looks pretty good. Although I am kind of gluing him to my paper. Whoops. Come on, Antenna. Okay, so I think I'm fairly happy with this guy. Um, I need to let that dry before I paint it. So I'm not going to paint it for you guys, but you guys can paint it, use your imagination. Um, if you have oil pastel at home, that would be awesome. Um, a crayon even would be good too. So I would love to see these if you guys decide to make them at home. All right, so we're going to carefully kind of set Mr. Bug to the side. Oh, yay, stay together. All right, and now I'm going to show you how to make this butterfly. Uh, butterfly is bigger, uh, but it has less pieces. So let's see what I have here for a beautiful butterfly. So you notice the wings, these are the biggest parts. I did pull off that top layer of cardboard to give me um, the lines and the texture. You might have some little pieces hanging on. Um, you can either leave them or, or kind of poke them off with your pencil. But I've got all of these details for the wings. I've got the big wings. Oh, I've got cute little antennas here. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, and I've got a body in here somewhere. So first, we're going to lay out the wings. You have to remember how I did it. Yes, I did it like this. So for the wings, um, I kind of just used, uh, I don't know what shape this exactly would be. It is kind of like an oval. Um, 
maybe more like a teardrop kind of shape. So this is more stretched out than this one. Um, and I just, I really just looked at a real butterfly and, and kind of broke it down and figured out, okay, what do their wings, what shapes are their wings making? Um, and here's another tip, and you guys probably know this, but I did cut them out at the same time. So again, that's gonna be tough with scissors. You might have to ask a grown up, um, but that way they could be exactly the same size and they just kind of mirror each other. Okay, and I've got these lines going horizontal and these lines going vertical. Oh, it's so beautiful. For the butterfly's body, um, I did just cut out, it's kind of like a very, very stretched out oval, like a, you know, my daughter said it was like a hot dog shape, I guess. But I'm, I'm really putting a ton of glue because I want this to be the piece that holds the wings together because I'm really not gluing the wings to each other. I'm gonna make sure they're lined up and I hope it works. I might have to go back and add a little more glue because of all of these ridges that I've exposed. It may not, you know what? My wing was upside down, hang on. Yes, it was upside down. I'm really glad I looked at that. And thank you for those of you that were saying that to the camera, even though I can't hear you. <laughs> and we're going to just kind of hold that down for a second. Yep, this guy's going to have to dry for a little bit and I might have to re-glue, but I think we'll be okay. All right, so I made sure, again, I looked at a real butterfly. Um, I kind of decided what patterns I wanted to pick out. Um, sometimes they have designs in their wings that look a little bit like this. Uh, so, and I don't know if you guys can see my, I have pencil lines on this and I always, um, in my drawings at least, I make sure to erase the pencil lines that I don't want to show. But I am going to paint these eventually. Uh, so that will get covered up with the paint and I don't have to worry about it. I already think those are good. Yeah, this guy's gonna have to sit still for a little bit. I can already tell. Lots of glue. What else did I, did I put circles here? Did I put circles here? Did I put these here? Oh, I think I did. I love it. Maybe I put these. Stay. The cool thing about this is you can kind of play around. Yeah, I think I did put these bigger pieces up here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Did I not lay my glue down like I just told you guys? Oh well, I got busy creating. There's that one. Yep, I don't want that black to show. Hmm. But that's gonna be backwards, so. Slight adjustment. Okay, I lied. This is a messy class, but just a little bit. Just because of the glue. Not because of crazy painting techniques, which I am famous for. All right. Got that going on. We're going to put my circles down. Oh, yeah. I don't want to show this. I don't want to show these lines. I forgot I pulled the top off, but I definitely don't want to show lines on top of lines. I think that would be way too busy. But you can do that if you want. You can make them go in different directions. That would be kind of cool. Got that going on. We've got this little piece. I think I have them like this. Oh, this guy goes on the other side. This guy is going to go right here. Again, I have to probably going to have to readdress the glue situation. But for now, you guys get it. And you'll have all the time in the world to make sure that your butterfly is glued together. And if this glue is not working because of your texture, because of your ridges, and you have hot glue, hot glue is wonderful. You can get it cool as well, it doesn't, so it doesn't have to burn you. Art does not have to be painful. 
All right, did you see how I stuck my antenna underneath his head? It's gonna make sure it's nice and secure and it's gonna help hold the wing to the body too. So look, um, to get this, I just kind of used a pencil to curl it. And I think we need a little more glue down here, but you guys get the idea. All right, so this is our beautiful butterfly. I'm trying to push it up so you can see the antenna. We have our awesome Mr. Bug. And that's it. This is a cool relief sculpture for you guys. I'm sure you have cardboard laying around. <laughs>